guys, welcome back to Golden Gaming, where in this episode we're going to be doing a bit of a different series, but this series is going to be pretty much based off of pretty much the top 1000 slash top 200 people in the world, and we're going to be reviewing their battles in these next few episodes. So as you can tell by the top player, the top two players, they're going to be Lucas Hart Beer, who's going to be ranked 25th in the world, and you've got Big Spin, who's ranked 41st in the world. So you can tell Lucas is going to be running a Golem Beatdown deck, and Big Spin is going to be uh, rocking a Graveyard uh, Splashyard deck. So without further ado, let's watch these battles. So we're going to be starting off with watching Lucas, aka the Beatdown player, on the bottom, and the Graveyard player, Big Spin, on the top of your screen. So, both players are going to sit to turn elixir. Both players are going to say good luck to each other. There we go. It looks like both of them are just going to chillax, kind of wait each other out. This is pretty much normal behaviour up in the very, very, very top 1000 slash top 200. Neither player really wants to make a big commitment with their cards and reveal their deck. Because when you get into the top 200 slash top 1000, you begin to know the players around you. You begin to know what, who runs what, who runs this, who runs that. Um, and that's pretty much what it comes to. For example, Big Spin might know Lucas is a beatdown player and he might know that Lucas is running a beatdown deck. So he might not want to commit hard because Lucas can easily just gold him up. So I think either player knows they can punish each other really hard. So they're probably just going to both wait until Double Elixir hits, and that's probably when both of their decks are going to shine. I'm personally probably rooting for Lucas, probably because he's probably got the beatdown deck, and he's just probably got a ton more. Lucas's deck definitely just does half counter uh, graveyard. You've got he's got Ice Wizard, he's got Guards, he's got the Dark Prince, the Baby Dragon. Those four cards in his hand can pretty much counter the entire graveyard single-handedly. Well, maybe not the Dark Prince, but definitely the other three. So yeah, definitely both players are going to wait till Double Elixir. And then they're both going to go and unleash their Beatdown Furiness. <clears throat> so Lucas it might be setting up with an Ice Wizard behind the tower. And it looks like Big Spin is going to hold absolutely nothing. So we've got three seconds till overtime. And it looks like an Ice Wizard is going to come down for Lucas in the right with a very offensive push. Coming down from Big Spin in the left lane. Baby Dragon Guards and Dark Prince comes down for defense on Lucas's left hand side. Graveyard and Dark Prince comes down for Big Spin. Gets virtually no damage done. So Dark Prince is going to charge up. Uh, does absolutely nothing. Golem comes down in the left hand lane from Lucas. And he's not scared to Golem up. Tombstone does come down for the defensive Golem in Lucas's side. So the Baby Dragons are going to kind of cancel each other out. The Dark Prince does come down from Big Spin behind the King Tower. Ice Wizard does come down to support that golem behind it, as well as a Baby Dragon. Defensive Poison comes down from Big Spin with an Ice Wizard Tombstone and a Nado in Big Spin's deck. That is considered the dirtiest defensive strategy in the game. Ice Wizard Tombstone uh, Tornado is classed as the, the most defensive strategy against a beatdown deck. If you are the beatdown player, it is extremely difficult to pull through Tornado Tombstone Ice Wizard. It's, it's just so strong on defense because you've got Tombstone that pulls the tank, the Ice Wizard just slows it down whilst also chipping it down, and the Tornado can also pull it back. It's a very cheap way to stop an entire push in seconds. So again, another golem does come down from Lucas, but he gets virtually no damage due to the Ice Nado Tombstone defense. Ice Spirit does come down to stop that Dark Prince slash Baby Dragon, and it looks like he is going to golem up in the left lane again. I'm expecting this match to be a draw personally because I think both players may just play tons of defense in their decks because Big Spin's deck can pretty much counter Lucas's, but however, Lucas's can counter Big Spin's. So I think this might actually be a draw. Um, unless Big Spin can actually get a massive graveyard hard counter punish, a very punishing graveyard to uh, Lucas's tower and somehow outcycle the guard, bar barrel, ice spirit, dark prince, baby dragon, all of this wacky stuff. But the golden lights do absolutely nothing to that tower apart from a little splash damage. Another golden is coming down from Lucas with a guard, dark prince behind it. Tombstone, ice wizard, baby dragon, bar barrel does come down 
from Big Spin, and Rocket Nado comes down on the tower. Very, very valuable Rocket coming out from Lucas. So it looks like Lucas might actually just go for the Rocket Cycle because I don't think... I think Lucas might actually know at this point in time he's not going to get a golden through that Ice Wizard Tombstone Tornado defense. He's not going to get it, so he's probably just going to try and Rocket Nado whenever he can. He's going to use the Dark Prince to tank for that Dragon and tank for some Skeletons, while the Guards can also do their business. And he's holding a Rocket in his hand, he's going to Rocket out that Dark Prince's Shield and the Tower. He actually misses that Dark Prince, so not exactly too bad, but it is a little bit unfortunate. So a bar, so this is, looks like a massive push coming down from Big Spin. Graveyard comes down with a Baby Dragon, Ice Wizard, and a Dark Prince. Two, uh, no, not two, no, not two, no, Tornado comes down from Lucas. Offensive Tornado comes down from Big Spin on that to help out with the push, and that is going to get some really good damage from Big Spin. Rocket does come down again, and that is two rockets away um, from Lucas ending this match in uh, Rocket Cycle, because I believe a max rocket does nearly 700 damage. So this is Big Spin's last opportunity to get that one final graveyard push that takes Lucas' entire tower at this point because he's got his rocket back in his hand, he's just saving up for the elixir. Dark Prince does come down to uh, tank for that dragon and um, this could actually might end up in, end up being Big Spin. However, Rocket does come down from Lucas and that well played is going to come out from Lucas. What an insane, intense match. At the end there, I personally thought Big Spin might have had a chance to actually uh, overthrow Lucas's defense because he was out of Elixir at the point. But Big Spin, he almost won it, he almost took it. However, Big Spin's right, uh, no, Lucas's rocket did come out from the King Tower and wiped out that right hand side tower. So a very, very insane match from both players. They both played it extremely well. Big Spin played it phenomenally for considerably a counter deck to Graveyard with the Guards, the Dark Prince, the Tornado, the Baby Dragon, the Ice Wizard, all kind of hard counter a Graveyard, so very very phenomenally played by Lucas, or actually by Big Spin. So I hope you guys did enjoy, subscribe to Golden Gaming down below, follow us on all social medias and I hope you guys did enjoy and take care.